Hey, thank you for joining my channel again. Uh, I'm in Guelph. It is the middle of June. It is a beautiful Saturday uh, afternoon. I'm up here and I'm going to hit up uh, Pushland Track, like the Twin Ponds. Um, I'm parked in a really secluded little spot here. I love parking over here because it's it's not near the main parking lot, but it allows me to jump in and I can hit up all the trails that are right here. The ones I want to ride are like right over in here in this section. So I'm going to go out there. I'm going to ride today and have some fun. So please watch the video and uh, ride with me. Comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And uh, let's go see if it's a good day for riding today. Thanks for watching. Right. So this is Nate's Hill. I've never gone up this, so let's... Oh, good God. Hold me tight. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. But Drove Fork said green this way. It's a very wide angle. Oh boy, way off track. Very tight, the 29ers. Super nice though. Going down would be much easier than going up. I'm already breathing heavy. I'm on my first trail up today. Jeez. I am sucking out hardcore today. Holy motherfucker. There we go. Let me redeem myself. A little bit. It's just heavy breathing this whole video. <laughs> I apologize in advance. Oh man. Tight corners. Very tight. I think I did this the other way last time, which is way easier. So I'm not sure if Trail Forks is wrong, or do I just screw up always and go backwards? <sighs> Getting eaten alive again by mosquitoes. Anywhere I didn't spray myself. Oh. Nate's Hill is kicking my ass. Strike. It's beautiful, I'll tell you. 
absolutely beautiful. Alright, found some downhill. <laughs> All I'm good is handlebar strikes. There we go. <clears throat> All right, this should be root to blue. Yeah, nothing marked. The way it always is, I think it seems feels just a one mark it. I don't know, but I believe this is root. We'll check in uh, in editing, of course. Beautiful day out. I'm already dead. <laughs> Nate's still uh, killed me. Oh, awesome. Right in the face, that was nice. Now I remember why they called the root. <laughs> uh, it is freaking hot out. Not like the other days I've ridden. This is like, I think it's about 26 degrees out. This one is uh, almost 90. It's nicer in the shade, of course. I am getting eaten up by mosquitoes though. I don't know how, I got bug spray on. I think they're getting me on my head and face. So I don't really want to spray my head. I want to sweat. I'm going to my fucking eyes and sting like a bitch. That was fun though. Oh. Holy overload is now. All right, this is Shagney Blue Trail. Beautiful day out. Last time I rode this, it was not quite as filled up. Foliage, weeds, whatnot. It's so hard to see the trail at times. Good job. 
mud. Super new stuff for riding now. Couldn't ask for a better day. creek right there. Oh. 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 We're getting good. Wind. Whoa. Whoa. Almost right into that mud. That would have been not fun. It's a big bird. Oh, the climb. Oh, that sun is beautiful. Oh boy, here we go. Still on Shagney. Thought it was over, but no, it is not. Hot breeze feels good. Nice. Good and tight. Gotta like it tight. Oh, a little bit of mud around it. Oh shit. <laughs> right there in the corner. This is a blue. This is better than some blacks I've ridden in other places. Good trail though.
But look at this. Perfect day. That knee till though, man, that killed me. So I don't know if I was supposed to go up that way. That's what trail fork said. That just murdered me for the rest of the trail. So I've recuperated it. Oh, but I love being outside. Tomorrow's Father's Day. So depending how I'm feeling after today's ride, I might take my son, go riding, do a mountain bike ride with just me and my son. It'd be kind of fun to be riding this bike a ton, but not really in the trails yet. So that might be a fun, either Christie Lake or a Turkey Point kind of ride. Get them really riding the trails, having fun. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, just me. Just me. Awesome. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. <laughs> see if I'm dead or if I feel good. I've only seen two other mountain bikers today. On a beautiful day like today. Just two. Not sure how it's split into two, but. Ooh, a little bit of mud again. talking a lot today. <laughs> it's a lot of heavy breathing. I apologize. But man, if you haven't ridden out here, I have to push some truck, twin ponds. It's a lot. It's a mouthful. But it's good. I always like coming out here. It's fun. Oh boy. I did not know that was there. And we're right by the highway. That's the 401. I believe. Loud. Very loud. I just wish there was more like trail signs. I always complain about that. I got a big Little sign guy. Because it can really make your day that much more fun. Like with well placed signage, you know, you don't get lost out here, you don't go the wrong way too, which I do all the time. I almost run into people and I feel bad, but with no signage and sometimes trail forks, I'm not always being right. <laughs> Bound to happen, right? So if I ever run into you on the trails, I apologize now. Or if I'm going to, I apologize. I'm a lot lighter, but I'm still pretty big. So please, if you see me, I'm in the wrong way. Just get away. I don't want to kill you, Max. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you get into the sun there, and it's hot. I want to get back in the trail. The trails and the tree cover like this. So.
man, that's so loud. I must be like super close right there. Must be like literally like just to my right. Glad I'm wearing my sunglasses. I know I've done a ton of sunglass reviews and stuff, but like, whether you buy the ones that I've been hawking on my site there or, or talking about, I don't care which ones you buy. You should really buy them though, because man, when I was a young mountain biker, this is going back like 20 years ago, we never wore sunglasses. Or if we did, we wore like actual sunglasses, so you couldn't see once you got like into the shaded tree area. But a lot of us just wouldn't wear eye protection, a lot of us. I mean, you get like tree branches in the face. Sometimes you bail or the dust can get in your eyes or a bug. I just, I just wear clear frames. I mean, sorry, clear lenses. I don't, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, if I was in like Utah again or someplace like that where I'm kind of open, there's no tree coverage, I'd probably go with more of a, an actual sunglass kind of lens, but in here, it's not very glary or anything. And it's nice just to not get dinged in the face by a tree branch or a bug. I don't remember shag me being this freaking long. I mean, it's great if it is, but I think I may have gone on to another trail and not even know it. We'll see. We shall see. rocks there. Alright. Now we're in the shade cover again. ask for a better day riding. I mean it's hot but it's not like humid hot. It's just hot. See right there I'm not sure if I went the right way. Built the markings. I'm not sure. I felt like the right way but who knows? I am 
in the right way. I made the right decisions for once. That's awesome. Man, I love trail forks. I know I talk about it all the time, but man, I'd be so lost without that wrap. Just a quick little, oh shit. I totally just hit that tree or whatever it was with my fist, like full on. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, where was it? Trail forks. Love the app. Not even sponsored by them, just love the app. I can just pull over on the trail. I don't know where the heck I am. Pull up my phone. Two seconds, I, I know where I am. All right. This is called like Rock Pit, I think, or something. This will go, go into like Six Sisters, I think, to the block, which will be fun. It'll start, start taking me back kind of the way I came in. Riding those new hand up gloves, which are pretty good. It might feel a little warmer. It might be a bit thicker, I think, than my, my uses. But not quite comfortable. Love the color. I feel very, very hunchery, and I'm like, I'm gonna go out shooting, which is a whole other channel. I am starting. I haven't started yet, but maybe I'll, I'll link it to my mountain bike channel or something. We'll see. Because, you know, I did live in the States for a long period of time, so I love guns. It's just like any other red blooded American or Canadian. I got my R Pal, so I'm fully legal. So that might be something to look out for if you enjoy guns and fire practice and hunting. And just, you know, shooting guns in general. Oh, man. I know I said it already, but man, that Nate's Hill, <laughs> that fucked me up. I haven't been able to really get my breath back. I haven't really stopped. Just stopped to see where I was, take a little bit of water, and then get back on the bike. There's a bunny. I'm gonna have to make this into a two-parter. I hate boring you guys with like super long videos. Some people have told me to edit them down a bit. I'm listening my best for you. <laughs> the heavy breathing I get a lot, so I do apologize every video. I don't know if I can stop breathing, but certainly doing my best to make it not sound like you're not watching mountain bike videos but something else. I think that's too much porn. I'll do my best. Yeah, the mic on the GoPro, that's all I'm using. Picks up quite a lot. Ow, got that in the face. So, woo! That scared the shit out of me. That was a dead chipmunk. I like almost rode over him. I'm like, is he gonna move? Is he setting himself? No, he's done. Full on dead. Beautiful. Glad I didn't ride over him. That may have been squishy. <sighs> Oh yeah. Tidy. All right. All right, so this just rolls into Six Sisters from Rock Pit. I think Rock Pit is where it's that's well, just on, I think it's called. This is a block. 
apparently. We shall see. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Wow. I already fucked up my socks. Wow. On a little... Jesus, look at that. Brand new socks. Fucked them up. <laughs> well, that was fun. I don't know how I hit that tree. But I hit the tree with my hand. <laughs> Slipped off my bike. Pedals into my new socks. Put a hole in my new socks. Hi, there we go. I am totally on the wrong way. All right, so I'm kind of riding this the wrong way, as usual. Now, they say you can go any way you want on this trail, but I kind of think that I'm going the wrong way. Because when you're riding this, you want to ride like the downhill parks. It's fun as fuck. Here, I'm going downhill a little bit, but not as much as the, oh, as much as the, woohoo, it's fun. Oh, it's got some cool over here. Nice. Stop there for a bit, talk to a nicer older guy. Asked about the trails. <laughs> he was saying the same thing though. He's like, there are no signs anywhere. He didn't know the name, the name of the trails were. He's just like, I just rode and ride here for like 30 years. I just ride. So I appreciate that though. I appreciate the the honesty of some people. I love it. No bullshit. So I'm just gonna stay on this trail. Hopefully I don't ride any money, even though it's non-directional and it says it's directional. And all the berms are set up and the jumps are set up. Okay. <laughs>
Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, that's fun. Woo. That was fun. Oh, I like that. Daddy likey. That was worth that. Up for time. Hi. Nice. I love how it's holding me to go down and not the way I'm going. One drive hates me. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not going. Oh yeah. Tweet. Let's let it roll. That was fun. That was a good day. Good day. Thank you for watching. Like, sorry, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And, uh, please feel free to watch more of my horrible videos. And I'll see you on the trails again. Have a great day. And uh, happy Father's Day, everybody out there. Take care.